hello everyone. I'm going to narrate a few of these just because um, I've only got photos, which is uh, unfortunate. But this is Nala and me teaching her naughty tricks with a baking tin. That's her being a bit cuter and sleepy. Um, but yeah, because I didn't take any video and I've only got photos, I thought perhaps I'll narrate the photos. Um, this is me having been thrown out because Ian has got COVID, so I'm in the spare room, but my constant companion is still with me. This is my ticket for Kinky Boots on the first night. Um, oh, absolutely love this. So this is the show that Meg was in. Um, <laughs> that's my constant companion in bed again. Um, which she did Thursday, Friday and Saturday last week. And yeah, I absolutely loved it. This is the set. Um, it was really good. It's really clever the way it was done. Very authentic from what I understand. I didn't see it in the West End. This is the yarns I chose for my Stephen West MCAL, um, which you've seen, or you will see, knit up in future vlogs. This is me and Echo, wishing Meg good luck for um, one of her performances. So Echo is Meg's cat, who, when Meg is not here, adopts me. Um, this is Meg in character. Um, at the end of the, um, the, the final night, the last night, um, getting flowers, bless her. <laughs> she looks good, doesn't she? Um, yeah, she's got flowers on her final night, and she was very emotional. She was uh, crying throughout the last part of the act. I love this photo of her, her friends taken onto the stage. Um, and she's very sad that it's all over and done with now. Right, so now we're into music and me doing bits. <laughs> waiting for Reese to um, get back from work. I don't do this very often but um, Charlie's off having her hair done. Meg is out with friends for a meal and um, I said I'd pick him up. So I'm currently just waiting in a station car park um, for him to appear. Um. <laughs> yeah, been a busy day today. Did get a vlog up though so hopefully you enjoyed that that's the first one of the island vlogs i just need to remember to keep recording these so that eventually i do actually get all of these up i need to start putting up at least two videos a day otherwise i am not going to be caught up by the end of october and i would, would like a break in november before we hit vlogmas but i'm really looking forward to vlogmas i've got my first christmasy thing um i've got my christmas journal do you know share i buy a christmas journal if you're a long time viewer you will, and you watch my vlogmas, you would have seen my Christmas journals. Um, I've bought my one for this year um, from the same place as I bought my one from last year because it was so gorgeous and it was such good value. And she has actually got some more at the moment as I record this, she has got some more. Um, so whether the time this goes up, that's the case, I don't know. Um, but um, it's arrived, it's sitting in a box on my table, I haven't opened it yet. I think I might do that a bit later. I've got that and I've got some Elder Fair stitches, stitch markers to open. I've got my Tea and Yarn Club for August and September or September, no, definitely August and September. It's definitely not October yet. Um, so I might just sort of sit on the sofa and do that later. I am, sorry, guy in um, BMW with the top down loud music going past there. Um, I am watching Victoria at the moment, Ooh. which is something I loved the first time around. I just fancied watching it again. I'm watching Victoria and I'm knitting my Stephen West. So I'll show you that later, which would be a spoiler today, but by the time this vlog goes out, probably not. <laughs> I doubt it's a spoiler at that point. Um, anyway, I'm expecting 
race to appear any second now. So I'm gonna sign off and um, put my music back on. I'm having awful trouble getting my camera to work. Never mind. Um, it's in the evening now. In fact, it's half past nine. Wow. Um, I'm working on my Stephen West, so that's as far as I've got so far. I'm loving how it's working up though. I've kind of done a bit of the twisty stuff, but um, not enough really for you to see. I'm loving these two colours together. I thought it'd be quite blendy, but um, in actual fact, it's not, which is nice. Um, and I've got some things to open. So, I've got that's September, that's August. So, this is the Elderflower Stitches Tea and Yarn Club. I just get the um, little hanger and the stitch markers. And that's pretty. Vanilla? Is it vanilla? Um, so yeah, um, I think it's vanilla, so that's the tea that came with it. That's the little hanger. I'll show you where these are at some point. I think this is really pretty. And that's the stitch markers. Aren't they lovely? So that's the August. Oh. This is September. And it's from the first stitches, can't remember where I said that or not. This one's elderberry to go with elder flowers. That's pretty. I love the stitch markers that go with it. That's the stitch markers that go with it. So pretty. And then that was the tea. I've got some of the yummy tea for tomorrow, which I shall partake of. I've got the energy going tomorrow. I have a busy day tomorrow. Let's not show you my dress. <laughs> this is going to require scissors. There is a lot of tape on this box. Have I got some scissors in my black cat bag? Is the question. Ah, oh, actually, I might have scissors in there. Yes, I do. It's my little bee bag from Say Raimi. Right, let's give this a go, shall we? Probably shouldn't you use these scissors either because you know, don't want to ruin them. Ooh. Definitely got one bit off. I mean, that's all I've got is one bit, but we live in hope that the rest of it's going to come off at some point. go so that's how it's packaged 
very well wrapped. We've got some bubble wrap and we have some tissue paper. And wow, this is a lot bigger than I was expecting it to be. Oh wow, it's a lot bigger than I was expecting it to be. It's come with a pretty little decoration as well. Look at that. Um, and it's Fiona, who is Crystal Candy Cards. There we go. And it's got some fun bits on the side. It's tied together with ribbon. Oh, and it's got all sorts inside it. It's beautiful. Absolutely stunning. It's got lots of bits and pieces. Oh, I can't wait to start putting this in. I get this this early because if I get present ideas, I start writing them down. Or if I've already bought some presents, I write in what I've bought. Oh, it's so pretty. Um, my, this one's theme was pink and green. I thought it was quite Victorian, and I'm in a Victorian mood at the moment. I'm watching Victoria. That's my my watch of the moment. This is just simply beautiful. Oh, I'm going to have fun with this. That's material. Probably won't be writing on that page. Unless I write and stick to it. That works too. Excuse my tummy. I don't know what its problem is. It's had a jacket potato. And a watermelon lolly. Oh, it's so pretty. A little jewel on it. It's so lovely. I might, if I've got time at some point, put the camera on and do an overhead on it, although you'll get lots of overhead shots of it um, when I'm using it. So I think this is possibly pretty much repeating. Maybe not. This is going to be fun to use. Put a stitch marker there. Sorry, I'm taking it out of camera shot there. Oh, love it. I truly do. Um, all this is fabric so it's beautifully done that's exciting so I wanted to show you that today on today's vlog so <laughs> I don't think I've got much content for today I think it's actually like this morning talking to you and then doing an overhead of my diary and this so um, yeah, apologies, this, this, whichever day this is going to turn out to be, it's going to be a short vlog. <laughs> I mean, theoretically it should turn out to be today, but my vlogs are going to be a bit all over the place. But you're all lovely and you'll bear with me because that's what you like. Um, and I really appreciate that. I put my scissors back before I lose them. Right, my camera battery is dying, so I think that's a hint for me to go. So I'm going to say goodnight and I will hopefully see you tomorrow.